This video covers the report options available in Radius Bob. Go to Reports. The first option is Custom Reports. This is great for a one-time report that you want to pull. Select the criteria. There's a lot to choose from, so check out the options. I'll go more in-depth on this with the Saved Report option. So for now, let's just select Leads with the status of New Lead. Scroll to the bottom to generate a report to have the results displayed below. Or hit Download Results to download a CSV file of the results. Or hit Email Results. The CSV file will then go to the account user's email address. It will be the one that's set up in their account My Information Details. If you're pulling a large report, choose the email option so that it uses our server power rather than your computer's memory to generate that report. If it's returning a few hundred results, it won't take long to generate. But once you're getting thousands of results back, it may time out. Status reports can be generated. Select the state or states you want to have included in the report. All of the other fields can either be selected as all or specific options or left blank. You can choose a detailed or summary report to generate or you can have them downloaded. Let's save Saved Reports for last as it has the most options. Policy Report can generate based on a coverage type, status, agent, effective, and or renewal date. Choose a summary report, detailed report, or download the report. Call logs are a great way to see your current total minute usage and check back on call recordings. You can pull a summary report for all or specific agents by date range. There's also an option to download the results. I use the detailed report most often so that I can click into people's records to make notes or play back the recordings. The Revenue Report helps you to keep track of expected and actual commissions. Data pulled from the Revenue Report is a combination of the product commission, product premiums, and most importantly, effective dates. These three features need to be utilized for the Revenue Report to function. The Revenue Report generates expected amounts and then the actual amounts paid. If you've kept track of the actual amounts, those will be displayed as revenue. Choose the cycle that you want to report on in the Date option. Choose All or Specific Agents, Coverage Types, Carriers, and or Products. You can then have the report group itself either by Agent, Carrier, or Product. Run the report or export for more details. Note that for reports, agents can only see their own leads and clients. Admins and account owners can see all agents and all their leads and clients. Let's dive into the saved reports. Click Build New Saved Report. Name it. Let's call this one Turning 65 in 6 Months. If you want to be able to send this report to your dashboard, Choose Available for Agents to Run Report for Assigned Leads and Clients. As it states, agents will only be able to see their own assigned leads and clients in the report. Now select the criteria that you want to have generate the report. Let's select Leads and Clients. You see that you have a wealth of information to pull from. Carrier, product, coverage type, status, and so on. Date ranges, including any custom date fields that you've built. Custom data fields that you've created are here. If you want to see who is unsubscribed from your emails, 
You can choose that option here. But let's look at date of birth range. October 1st, 1958 through October 31st, 1958. We'll select Search Additional Products when filtering by Carrier, Product, and or Custom Fields, and Search Additional People when filtering by Date of Birth. Hit Next. In the Edit Report Column section, select and sort what you want to have displayed. I want to see Date of Birth, Last Name, First Name, Status, Phone, and Cell Phone. Anything I don't need? I can click on the trash can icon to delete. Anything I want to add, I enter in this Select Fields to Add box. Either scroll down to what you want, or start typing the name of the data field and it will show up. Now I can go to the groupings and sort by date of birth or last name or any field that I have listed in the results column here. Scroll to the bottom and submit the report. It will now bring you back to the saved report screen and ask, what do you want to do? Let's run the report. We can now select all, bulk update, and quickly add a tag of turning 65. That's a great way to trigger an automated workflow for turning 65. Or you could update their status or any other options that you see here. You can also download the CSV file, download all data, which would return all of the metadata for that leader client, not just the fields that we set on that second page. You can email the CSV file or all data, which is recommended if the report will be generating more than a few hundred results. You can generate mailing labels. Even if you didn't select their address as reporting fields, it will still pull their name and full address here. More information on that is in the Mail Merge and Address Labels tutorial. Next, you can edit the report settings. So next month, when you want to run the November 1958 list, you'll edit the date of birth range by choosing this option. You can also copy or delete the report. You have the option to push up to four saved reports to your dashboard. Go to Settings, Dashboard, and choose the reports to display there. You'll have the option to view it as a report list, as a bar chart, or as a pie chart. You can also remove or keep the default reports that we've made available on your dashboard. Save the changes you make. Now you'll see your report on your dashboard.